Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of How to Run on Zwift. A very short episode today. We're looking at the workout screen. It's the same whether you're in individual workout mode or whether you're in group workout mode. The only difference being the names on the right hand side of the screen here. So if you look on the right hand side of the screen, all those names there are currently people who are running or riding on Zwift. If you are in an individual workout, those names will be everyone who's on Zwift. Your name is highlighted in blue, but if you're in a group workout, the names on the right hand side will only be the people who are in that group workout with you. So it will be pared down to just people who are in the workout with you. As with any run that you do on Zwift, over in the top right hand corner is a map of the route that you're currently on. And then right above your head are various stats. The normal stats that you see for every run, again, here you've got pace, distance, and time taken. And then just below that, you can see the level of the game that you're on. I'm currently on level 21. And just below that, these are specific to group workouts or individual workouts. So you will see the speed that the workout wants you to currently go at and then the speed that you are currently going at. So if you're not matching what the workout's asking you, then you won't get your stars for workout completion. And then over here is your heart rate and your cadence. And then if you turn to the left-hand side of the screen, here are the specifics for the workout that you're doing. So right up here, you will see the name of the workout that you're currently on, how long you've got left to go before the end of the workout in terms of how many miles or kilometers there are left to run, and then the workout is broken down into specific individual segments and you get a star for each segment that you complete successfully. And then below that are normal stats that you will see for every run. So kilometer splits, calories burned, things like that. And your kilometer splits will be a color so they will match the average heart rate zone that you were in during that kilometer. If you're running in workout mode, there's no need to go up here and set a target. That's just if you're in free run mode, you want to run for an hour or six miles, say it'll just count you down. Finally, the last thing to show you is the graphic along the bottom of the screen here. That is of your heart rate and your pace. The red line is your heart rate and the greyed out area is your pace. It's just another representation of how you've run on Zwift. That's it. Thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you for another How to Run on Zwift very soon.